I also wanted to circle back real quick. Uh, last week, we talked about the new Windows hardware attestation report. So another comment here on the hardware attestation report uh, showing up empty. That's the report that I showed a little bit ago. Um, and how do we enable that? So I happen to look in another tenant that I have that does have some uh, physical devices. And it's also showing up empty for me. Um, so unless you have any clever ideas there off the top of your head, Johan, I may have to look into this one a little bit for next week. No, not, nothing I have seen. Um, and I did want to show that I actually got something going. I uh, got some data into that report. Uh, and it was pretty easy. So what I had to do first was if I go over to my Intune Admin Center, I'm going to go to my Windows devices, and I'm going to look at my compliance policies. You can see here I created a hardware attestation report, or uh, compliance policy, rather. And in this policy, um, there are a few things that I set. Let's just edit the settings here. If we go to device health, with these three settings, um, BitLocker, Secure Boot, and Code Integrity set to required, uh, I started to see data show up. Now, I haven't tested this as setting them all is not configured so that it doesn't actually flag a device as non-compliant. Um, but by doing this, I was able to have at least one of the few devices that I assigned this to uh, show up in the reports. So let me show you what that looks like. I need to go to device compliance and right here. Go ahead and regenerate the report to see if we got anything new out of it. And there we go. Uh, you can see last week when we took a look at this, this was empty, or at least I mentioned mine was empty. Um, and we were kind of seeing the same thing for uh, others in the community. Um, but basically what you have is that first device that showed up. Uh, we'll get the Intune device ID, the primary user U, uh, UPN, the operating system it's on, and then some other uh, information about the hardware on the device. So you can see this particular device did not have, does not have BitLocker um, encryption on it at the moment. But some of the other um, security features are actually enabled, uh, which is a good sign. But because my compliance policy uh, said I needed BitLocker required, that particular device is showing as not compliant. Um, obviously, we can do a lot of filtering here. So if we wanted to, um, once, we, once we had more data in this report, if we wanted to just see the devices that uh, don't have BitLocker uh, at the moment, obviously we can filter on that. We can filter on code integrity and a number of other items. Um, so I just wanted to circle back on that one a little bit. That was what finally triggered data coming in here for me was assigning that compliance policy.